Okay, so with the success of the Countryman vs. Clubman video and the success of the John Cooper Works vs. Cooper S video, I thought it'd be fun to bring out the two smallest four-door minis from the mini lineup. And here they are. So, right over here, I have a 2020 Mini Cooper S Clubman All 4. And over here, I have a 2020 Mini Cooper S four-door. So, what do these two Minis have in common? Well, for starters, they both have the same 2-liter, 189 horsepower, 4-cylinder turbocharged motor. That's where it starts, and that's sort of where it ends, aside from a few other little things. So, I would take these cars out and show you the driving dynamics, but you've seen enough of my videos to know how these two cars drive and how much different they are. So we're going to dispense with that. I'm gonna talk about the styling on the vehicles. As you can see with the Starlight Blue Cooper S four-door, it's a very nice looking vehicle, has these wonderful black and silver wheels, rides on 17 inch wheels with 205, 45, 17 tires. The car also is equipped with LED headlights with black trim rings, the wonderful union flag taillights with black trim rings, in fact, the car has quite a bit of black trim accent as it is. It could use some more. Panorama sunroof, they both have panorama sunroofs. This one though has the black, or should I say carbon black, leatherette interior, whereas the Clubman has the black pearl cloth and leatherette interior. Now the unique thing about the black pearl cloth interior is that it is made from recycled bobble caps. So while both these vehicles have some similarities, there are quite a few differences as can plainly be seen. Now you might notice at the front end of the cars, they both have the same LED headlights or so it might appear. In fact, the headlights on the Clubman are slightly larger than the headlights on the hardtop. So as you can see, both cars also have a difference in rear seat legroom. Now, I am five foot nine. I have the driver's seat set as if the driver was also five foot nine. So I'm relatively comfortable here and it's not that bad. Plenty of room. There's a nice concaved cutout behind the back seat. So your knees aren't hitting the seat. But if the driver were say six feet tall or taller, they would be on top of me and it would not be very comfortable. In fact, really with the seat slid back in its farthest position possible, as you could see, there's nobody sitting behind the driver. And I mean that literally. You see, really the back seat of this four door hardtop is designed to be used occasionally. It's meant so that should you want to carry passengers around with you, you can do so on rare occasions. As you can see here, the step in of this car is not very wide as far as four-door cars go. So it is really a occasional use back seat. It's not meant to be used all the time. Now, if you happen to be a very short driver, that's not gonna be an issue. You're not gonna really care too much. And if you have a person sitting behind you, they're not gonna care too much. But if you're best friends with someone who's six foot or taller and they're driving one of these cars, consider sitting on the other side, assuming there's three people in the car. Being that this car is a mini, Headroom is fantastic as always. There's plenty of headroom here for me. I'm sitting here fairly comfortable and plenty of room really. I mean, I got a nice glass roof above me. If I open the sunscreen, got a little sun coming through. It's very, very nice and it's very, very comfortable. But that's where it really ends as far as the back seat is concerned. And I believe the reason they designed the four door this way was to answer the need to have better access to the rear seat should you want to carry people around occasionally, but not as a means of all the time transportation. In fact, this was the answer to people who complained about the club door on the Mini Clubman. So in essence, this is the replacement for the R55. So in the Clubman, I would describe things a little bit more commodious, a little bit more roomy, a little bit more airy. The car is a bigger vehicle obviously. And as you can see, I have a lot more leg room here. I have at least two to three inches extra leg room in here than I had in the other car. So it is a much bigger vehicle. In fact, the step over is a little bit much wider. It is designed to be used by even a small family. You could carry your friends in the back if you so choose. And there's plenty of room back here. It is even a five passenger car. Up front in the Clubman is where things get more comfortable and open. As you can see, I got plenty of leg room up here, plenty of headroom. Steering wheel's in a nice position. It's a very comfortable place up here. I got this center console, which feels very different over the hard top as it sits a lot higher. But that's because everything's up a little bit higher. There's a push button parking brake instead of a pull up parking brake. 
it's very different. It's a very different experience overall sitting in the front seat of a Clubman versus sitting in the front seat of a four-door hardtop. These are also one of my favorite seats here. These are the black pearl cloth and leatherette interior, and it's by far one of the most comfortable. In fact, it is temperature neutral even. In warm weather, it is cool to the touch, and in cold weather, it is warm to the touch. So it's a really great interior, and in fact, it's recycled. It is made of recycled bottle caps. Now, if all things considered, cargo space is another big thing with minis, and it's something that most customers are probably looking for. And the Mini Clubman doesn't disappoint, as I shall now demonstrate. I have the key right here. I have the trunk button. I push, it opens that door. I push again, it opens that door. And as you can see, it is a very large trunk space. Incredibly large here. And underneath the load floor is more cargo space. A very roomy trunk in a very roomy car. Now, as far as cargo space, the four door does not disappoint either. Plenty of cargo space and the load floor is height adjustable. So when you fold the seats down and you probably will, you'll find a nice flat load floor. Now I might also add that if you look over in the corner here, you'll see something like this. Push this up and then bring the seat cushion back up and lock it in place. What this effectively does here is it creates a vertical surface on the back of the seats, allowing you to get stuff in here without folding the seats down. Now you already know what's under the bonnet and I'm going to show it to you anyway just for the sake of discussion. Under the bonnet of this car, we have a 189 horsepower, 207 foot-pounds of torque, four-cylinder turbocharged motor, two-liter turbocharged motor. Very peppy little engine for this car, a very, very good motor. Now under the bonnet of the Clubman, we have the same exact engine, the same 189 horsepower, the same 207 foot-pounds of torque, the same turbo, the same cylinders, the same engine with the added benefit of all wheel drive. Styling wise, you really can't go wrong with the Mini Clubman. The styling cues on this are phenomenal. It has the look of a station wagon, which is something that's not always appealing to everyone. But when you think about the fact that this car is about an inch smaller than a Volkswagen Golf or Volkswagen GTI, then it starts to make a little bit more sense and you start to realize that it is still a mini. It still has the same mini proportions. It still has the same mini styling cues. It is still in every essence of the word a mini. Despite what some people might think, this is still a mini. This is still a fantastic mini and it's one that I would even love to have. In fact, I almost bought one. One of the things I love about the styling on this car is the graceful lines, the low roof line, the long flowing body lines. This is a very, very pretty car. It has the 18 inch wheels on it. It has black trim all over. It is just a very, very pretty car, very well thought out car and a very stylish car. This color combination makes it look even better in white silver with a white roof. It's just a really neat and a really unique looking color combo. Now, unfortunately, the one Mini that people find very hard to love is in fact the four-door hardtop. And I'm not exactly sure why. They seem to have disdain for the Clubman, but they seem to have even more for the four-door. And I think I know why. It has to do with the fact that it's using the same styling cues that are off the two-door hardtop. So it doesn't exactly translate well to a slightly longer platform. However, if this car were equipped with the John Cooper Works appearance package, then things get a little bit better and the car starts to look more interesting and more fun. In fact, I've seen several examples with the John Cooper Works appearance package that look phenomenal on the four-door hardtop. And in fact, I think it would look very good on this car in this color combo. But naturally, the four-door is not to everyone's liking, which is probably why it's not always the best seller. In fact, the two best sellers that are usually found on most mini lots tend to be the two-door hardtop and the Countryman. With the four-door, 
convertible and clubman falling in behind. What both of these minis also have in common are JCW styling cues, specifically the leather wrapped red stitched steering wheel. Now it's interesting to me that at one point John Cooper Works meant tuning kit. Then in 2009 in the US market, it became a model. So now you had a mini John Cooper Works. So it's a little strange to see John Cooper Works becoming a accessory, becoming a trim piece, something that gets added to the car as an option, when in fact it doesn't do anything really different over the stock piece, aside from giving it red stitching and a John Cooper Works badge. If you really want your car to have John Cooper Works flourishes, why not get a John Cooper Works? It makes sense, doesn't it? However, in the end, it really doesn't matter. Both of these are still great minis, and I would love to have either of them in my driveway, and I'm sure you would as well. So it really comes down to several things here. What are you looking for as far as a mini is concerned? Do you want four doors? And if you do want four doors, do you want a four-door hardtop, a four-door clubman, or even a countryman? That's where the questions come in. Once you figure that out, then it's a matter of picking out colors and options and all of those things to really make the car yours. But first you have to figure out exactly how much mini do you need? Do you need a little mini or do you need a lot of mini? And that gets into another thing that a lot of people don't seem to quite understand. A lot of people look at mini and they think small car and it still is a small car, but they think that because it's called a mini, it should remain a tiny car. And in fact, if you went by the name and took it literally, then you'd be right. But Mini is a brand. It is not a car anymore. This is not an Austin or Morris or a Rover. This is a brand. So when you look at it from the perspective of a brand, then things start to make sense. Mini being a brand has to have vehicles that cater to everyone. They have to have something for people who want two doors. They have to have something for people who want a convertible or cabriolet. And I've been corrected numerous times by people who say that the convertible in the US is not actually a convertible, it is a cabriolet. They have to have a four-door, they have to have a slightly larger four-door, then they have to have something called an SUV or a crossover utility vehicle, which would be the Countryman. The only thing Mini doesn't have yet is a pickup truck and, um, <laughs> however, if you've enjoyed this nice little overview of these two cars and you'd like to learn a little bit more about these two vehicles, check out my playlist for the four-door hardtop and for the Clubman at the end of this video. And before I let you all go, I'm just gonna remind you all that life is too short to drive a boring car, so drive a Mini. I will see you all in the next video.